everybody it's sam here thank you for watching so today i'm going to show you how i've made this pop up i've done this before as a tiered style and i used florals i'll link the tutorials up here but i recently received these new stamps which i'll show you in a moment so during a facebook live i made this little pop-up scene so you can see here i've got these four sections that pop up the one that i just mentioned is the same as this but they're all different heights and they're tiered and you could use that style i guess in this way as well so it's entirely up to you that i think was five by seven size as well actually so it'd be good to see the two um different sizes but there's a really sweet little scene here had lots of fun making this like i said during that facebook live but i think it's a great one for any theme you, know, you can build any scene that you want here and this will fit into any size card as well because all you have to do is just reduce or extend the length of these the width you know that takes up two inches so that's going to go into most size cards so you don't need any specialty dies for this one everything has been cut by hand so let me show you how to make it so i recently received these six new stamp sets which are by the new brand that's available on craft stash called adventures in ink this is the second release that's come out and this one's called all summer days my plan is to share a tutorial using every one. I think, I'm not sure what order these are going out, but I've done one already with this one, which may already be up on the channel. If it is, I'll link it now. I've got a nice idea for this one here with the tent. That one I featured in a cover plate techniques video. This one I think would also work really well for today's card. And then this one here, you've got your Lazy Days Picnic. So I need to think of a way to use that one. And then this is the one I'm using today. So this is your Sunshine and Sand Castles. So I've already gone ahead and I've stamped and coloured all of these images here. Cut them all out. I've used some of my accent glaze on them. So I've got enough here to decorate the inside and also the belly band. And then we were just having some fun during the live. And someone mentioned about using my little selfies the the people which is this set here the selfie set and i popped him in the little dinghy but for this one what i've done is i've cut around the front portion there can you see i've i've just cut around here around the oar and then around there so that he can now sit in the front he's completely oversized but it just looks quite funny so this is you know so it's not going to be for everybody to do but i have cut it slightly differently because during the live i just cut right along that back Kind of line there and um looking at it now it probably isn't the correct place where i should have cut so i think that looks a little bit better so i'll leave all that to one side for now i'll go over the belly band later on first of all i will talk through the pop-up bit so this is going to fit in a six by six card blank so i've just got this piece here if you don't have shop brought which is what this one is which comes in a little bit under a six by six size otherwise you just want to use you can use a4 and cut it to five and seven eighths by the length that it already is and then just score along that long side at five and seven eighths so you're just a little bit under six by six that's more this size if you've got 12 by 12 cardstock then just cut a piece of six by 12 and score along the 12 inch side at six inches but like i said at the beginning this will go into many other size cards as well so to make the actual pop-up pieces, it's up to you how many you have. You might just want one, but I've got four in this one. I've got two in this sand colour and two in this kind of aqua colour, which will be for the sea. So the idea is, is you have the sand at the front and then the sea. These are the panels that are going to go on the front. So all of them, regardless of what size card you want to put these in, you want them all to be two inches wide. And you're going to score them all at half, one and one and a half and do that on all of them okay so in terms of the width this is what you can now alter to fit in the size card that you want to use so i've actually brought these in if you're doing a six inch and it's it's a true six inch wide then do it at five and three quarters this is coming in at five and seven eighths my card so i've come in a quarter under that so this is five and five eighths in width but like I say, if you're doing a four inch wide card or four and a half, a five inch, seven inch, just bring it in a quarter and that's the width you want these pieces to be. OK, so they're all ready. But before I stick them inside, you want to add your pattern paper or your decorative paper that you want as a background. So I've cut this piece here so it's just slightly smaller than that card blank size. OK, and I've already heat embossed Enjoy Sunny Days, which is from that stamp set. And there's also the birds there, which I've just heat embossed. And then for the bottom, I've got this piece. So rather than doing another full P, 
piece because I'm sticking everything onto there. This is going to be a separate layer, which is going to be towards the bottom here. So I'm going to use the construction glue. This is just going to start adding some strength to the card when it dries. So I'm positioning it along that fold at the bottom. So I've got an equal border along the sides and the top there. Okay, so first of all, you want to take one of these and you want to fold it in half. Okay, and you want the open end will face inside the card. You always want the folded side to face you. I'm going to use some of my quick grab glue for this. I'm just going to run it all along the outer panel there. Okay, so you can see if I just fold that, there's that first one. So you're just sticking it on there. Turn it over. So you've got two panels facing you, the other two on the bottom, and you want to butt this right up into that fold of the card blank there. And it will line up for me, it lines up with my pattern with this paper here. So it's five and five eighths of an inch wide. Just let that stick down. So you can see now it's attached by that back piece and you've got these three panels. Still keep it folded in half and you're now gonna add your glue all along that next one. And then you just wanna close the card. Give that a good burnish. And now when I open it up, you've got that first pop up. I've then got these pieces here. So they're all the same width of these pieces. So for me, these were five and five eighths, but yours might be five and three quarters or whatever length, as long as they cover that panel. The width of these was two, but you can see now I've just cut into them. So just use my scissors just to kind of cut a wavy kind of effect. And I've done the same with this one, but this one's slightly shorter. So this one is gonna go on the back there, first of all. So I'm just gonna grab my glue, just run it along there. You only need a little bit. And then just butt that right up and close the card as well to make sure it all lies nice and flat and it's not catching at all. So we've got the first one in place. I'm now gonna take the next one, fold it in half. Again, add my glue and then turn it over. And you're now going to butt it up to this pop-up. Like so. Again, close that all down. Open it up. So you've got the same three pieces there, but keep it folded in half. Add your glue along that outer panel. Keep that flat and then fold that over that one. So now when I open this one, we've got two pop-ups that stick to each other. Just bring it back as well. Just make sure it works and it should, you know, hold itself open. So now I can take this one and stick it on front. So now you'll see we start to get that depth. So again, just add your glue. Along there. And stick this one down. And again, just close the card. Okay. I'm happy with those. And I'm going to do exactly the same with these two here. What I did to create the sand effect is this is actually cut using just a low grit sandpaper. It's just normal hardware store. It's not craft sandpaper. And it just gives, you know, that texture if someone feels it. It also takes the inks really well. I just used a little bit of vintage photo distress oxide around the edges there just to add a little bit of shading there. So I'm going to stick these two down just the same way that I've done these pieces. Okay, so that's all those pieces stuck down. I think it looks really cool. Then this one here is going to sit now nicely in there. If I put it right up, I've got that same border around the sides and along the bottom. So whilst that's drying, I've already stuck this one on the front and I just used my bubble embossing folder there, which is an old Creative Expressions one, but you can still find them sometimes on eBay and places like that. So now when I bring that all up, again, just kind of mould it, work it a little bit so it gets used to that shape. It's all ready now to decorate. So like I briefly showed at the start, I've got all these pieces here, but some of them are also for the belly band. So I'm gonna follow the layout of this one because I really like it. So you can see the belly band there. So I've got one of the little beach huts and then some of the, the shells on the ball and that sentiment. So I've already stamped that on here and that was on a about three and three eighth 
diameter circle and this one here is about four inch diameter so i'll pop that up on some foam so i think i'm going to have that one for the front and then i'll have these three for inside so again you can see there how they are kind of built up on the second one back and then i've got the sandcastle the little deck chair and the parasol there on the front the shells across the second and third and then him on the dinghy is on the very back one i've got the ball popped up on some foam there and then the flip-flops and the ice cream i've just stuck directly onto there so i'm going to follow like i said similar layout to that one there if not exactly the same get all the belly bands stuck down as well and then i'll show you how to attach it to the strap and onto your card Okay, so that is everything stuck down. I think it looks very, very sweet. So with the belly band, I've already just layered up the top of there. I've got this strip of just some scrap card, which coordinates quite nicely. This is one inch wide by A4 length, but 11 inches, 12 inches entirely up to you. It doesn't have to wrap all the way around the card, but as long as it wraps enough to be able to join your topper. So just wrapping it, you don't need to score it. Make sure there's room, you know, it's not too taut. Just, you know, you want it to be able to slide off easily. I'm just going to add some glue either end. So you can see it doesn't join, that doesn't matter. And then when you now attach your topper, that's going to keep it all attached. And I'm just going to slide that off just to make sure no glue has gone anywhere else. You can see it's quite bouncy. That means it's just going to wrap nicely around your card, just the same as that one there. Okay, so there is the finished card. You've got all your space on the back there to write your message or you could write a message here if you want. You've got your belly band that coordinates nicely and then for the shine that I've already added, you can see that catching the light. That's just using my accent glaze there. I think it's lovely and they all fold down. Like I said, easy to adapt for any size card that you like making. The belly band holds it all together. And for me, the belly band is also the envelope. But if you do want to pop this in a envelope, you could use my bouncy envelope tutorial, which is up here, or my box envelopes as well. That way it's all going to be protected. As always, thank you for watching today. I'll have all of the product that I've used linked in the description box below the video. I'll have those other tutorials that I mentioned as well earlier on popping up now. You might want to watch those next. And if you've enjoyed today, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And hit the notification bell and that way you won't miss out on any future videos. See you all again soon. Bye.